What did you do in all the downtime then when you weren't filming? Oh, mate. Thank you. So <laughs> the downtime, it was literally so... Can I go even a step back? Yeah, sure. absolutely. Yeah. So honeymoon, all right? Okay. How it portrayed, if you recall, okay, there was the four-wheel drive bit mm-hmm. and then there was the fishing bit, okay? Yeah. This is the same lady who said she doesn't like the sun, you know? Collins, you absolute numpty. Are you paying attention to who she is? That's how it was portrayed, in my opinion. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I would agree. <laughs> no, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, exactly cheers. it. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> But no, what actually happened is, so yes, the night before you get told, be ready at this time, this is what we're doing. So that morning we wake up and we get told, all right, guys, you're having your own private tour guide. He's going to take you fishing. He's going to take you mudding. He's going to take you to a private, nice little beach. And I'm like, this is great. But then you saw the bit where Nat is in that area and she's crying that she doesn't want to do it. So I walk over to Nat and Nat. We're going fishing. Let's let's do this. But she was not feeling it at all. She really didn't want to go fishing. And then she also made it clear she doesn't like the sun at all. And it was really tough. And I remember Nat even told me off camera. She said, I told these guys I don't like the sun. But now we're in Broom WA, which yeah. is all about the outdoors. Did that feel like a setup to you, do you think? I have no idea. Like, that's between Nat and them. That's her thoughts. I, I saw where she's coming from, but... Mm. I don't know. I really don't. But I go up to the tour guides. This is all on camera. And I say, hey, boys, look, is there any way we can potentially do something different that's not in the sun, that's just a little bit more in the shade? These guys are looking at me saying, you're in Broom WA. It's all about the outdoors. But I'm just trying to be accommodating. So then the bloke looks at me and says, all right, you said your wife's into birds? Yeah. How about we go to this beach and see an eagle? So then that's where you see Nat and I in the four-wheel drive and we're going to this beach to see an eagle. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, did I help myself when my wife is crying next to it and I'm saying, let's do a selfie? Oh, no. <laughs> what a... Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm struggling watching that. And again, just like the viewers are saying, what is this fool doing? I'm even telling myself that as well because that's where I realise I definitely thought I did okay, Mm. but I absolutely screwed the pooch on that way. So yeah, she wasn't up to it already, but before that she was struggling. Mm -hmm. So then we go to the beach, but very early on, maybe we're an hour and a half into the outside in the sun. And then you saw Nat saying, I want to go inside. So now this is everything that they didn't show. And I thought would play a huge part of the experiment. You saw Nat's really struggling with the sun and she asked, can we go back inside? We get to back to our base, our awesome suite. And I remember they say, all right, guys, it's lunchtime. Have a break. Do whatever you want to do. Sure. Me and Nat were like, I told Nat, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And she says, yeah, no worries. I'll wait for you up here. I remember I get out of the bathroom and I see Nat and she is looking really bleak and pale. And she looks at me and she just says, I'm going to faint. So I remember I look at her. I'm like, oh, God. So I grab her, like holding her by her side, grab her. And I say, let's go into our room right now. Camera crew is still a little bit behind, but my main focus is just trying to get Nat into our room. She is really struggling. So we're, we're running, walking as fast as we can. We have this huge deck. It was a really nice area. And Nat even goes over the deck and it sounds like she's yakking, you know, the, the vomit sound, mm. but nothing's coming out. And I'm thinking, oh my God, she is not good. We get into our room and that's just basically stripped. She's in a really vulnerable position for sure. She's in minimal clothing because she's just so hot. My main objective is to cool the house down. So what I've done, I've closed the blinds, I've closed the windows, the AC is up to the max. I've gotten a couple of towels, put it on her forehead, on her neck. I've even gotten ice cubes and I'm wiping it at the bottom of her feet. I'm just trying to cool her down. And then the producers, camera crew come, you know, what's going on? So they didn't get any of that on camera. So then I do a Voxy saying, look, she's, unfortunately, she's really just, I don't know what's going on, Mm. but she's struggling. So they record me looking after Nat a little bit, but then she's really, really in not a good state. So then the, the manager of the whole suite, she also is a medic, a professionally trained nurse, I think it was. So then what the nurse says, what's been going on? Nat says it's heat stroke, but the medic said, look, you can't really get heat stroke unless you're out in the sun for three to four hours. Those were her words. But we were only out in the sun for an hour, an hour and a half. Mm. So then the medic said, look, the medic told the producers and us saying, yeah, she's been struggling with the sun, but this is a lot of mental stress as well. So as soon as that happened, the producers looked at me and and said, all right, next two days of honeymoon, can, done. Really? Collins, we'll get back to you. 